Hello everyone, this is Bill with The Wilderness Hiker. I'm doing a bug out bag overnighter just to check out my bug out bag, see how it works. Everywhere all over the internet people are talking about bug out bags and what to take and how to do it, which is really cool. You should have a bug out bag, but I'm going to actually take it out and so I was just lost out here and what would I do? So come on, let's go. Let's check this out. This is a field that was burned to renew it, starting to grow back. The grass will be much better after it grows back. Okay, I'm down on Secret Isle, my favorite hideout. Uh, got my bug out bag here, gonna show you what's inside it and talk about it a little bit. So I'm gonna get it out ready to go right now. Okay, everybody, this is a new bag. I've had it before. It's a ULA equipment ultralight C CDT bag. Got some water. Got a water filter. Now this water filter is special because it's got an activated charcoal filter. So I could even use this in an urban area. And it will take pollutants out of the water, not just the germs, but the pollutants. And I could even go over here to the river if I had to. I'm not going to do that today. Got another water bottle. I've just actually got three here. I've got some string or cord. It's utility cord and I'm going to use it to set up this tarp for tonight because it probably is going to rain. Inside of, let's see. I've got some food. This is grocery store food. It's a granola. Got some pills I need to take. Here are some Cajun sesame sticks. It's more grocery store food. It came from the supplement store. I can zip lock it back up. It lasts a long time, so I keep a lot of that in my emergency food supply. And here I've got a stocking hat. I've got a sweatshirt. Got a pair of gloves so I can stay warm. It shouldn't be cold tonight, but I have them. Here's a neckerchief, which always handy. Some long underwear bottoms to stay warm. Here is my ditty bag. Here's a blanket, and this is the Sea to Summit Ultralight Dry Bag. And I not I don't have any sponsors on any of this. I just buy this stuff because I like it. Here I have a rain pants. A raincoat, which I'll probably need tonight. I have a knife, which you could even chop down tiny trees with. I have a saw. So between all of those things, I'm pretty well set up for whatever happens. Unless it's just, unless I'm in for a super long haul, that would be a different setup. I would want more food. I would want a tent. I want some kind of a sleeping bag. It's another one of these. Okay, this is fat wood. It will, you can start, start a fire with it. It's full of pine sap. It runs really good, really hot, but it's not explosive or leaky or anything like gasoline. I've got matches to start a fire. I've got a lighter to start a fire. And I've got a ferro rod to start a fire. So I've got three ways to start a fire. If one doesn't work, the other one will. Here's a compass, which is useful. Talk about it later. Here's a pocket knife, so that gives me two knives. I have duct tape. I have sports tape, which is good for first aid. And I have my miniature first aid kit. It's got little bandages and medium-sized bandages and some diarrhea stuff. So 
All of this goes in this little bag. I will keep one fire starter out just because in this environment I won't need the uh, fat, fat wood. So I can start putting some of this back up in here. It's probably going to rain tonight, so I'll set up a tent to or set up this tarp so I can stay dry when it starts raining. It's a nice place to be out here because there aren't any ticks here, hardly any. And I can build a fire here. I was in the forest earlier and guess what? I got greeted by the welcoming committee of ticks so I decided not to stay there. Put this in first. I expect it's going to rain on all of this soon. So I want to keep all my clothes and things dry. Just keep out the stuff I need for right now. This is probably the best ultralight backpack I have. I have a slightly larger one I use more often because it helps me carry camera equipment. So that's the bug out bag that I have for my just throw in the back of the car and general purpose everywhere you go. So tonight I'm going to try everything out and see how well it works. Gonna make a place here to put the tarp. So get rid of these extra little branches. That pretty well clears out the area above. Make sure there's no thorns or stuff here. Unpleasant things. I can put the tarp here. Setting up the tarp, I tied it to a tree. Put a stake in the ground to tie it down there. I'm gonna put another stake in the ground. Over here, tie it down right here. This is sand, so I need a big stake. Or it'll just pull right out. See how easy that is to drive that in there? I will come over here, get another piece of string. This is like good for like 550 pounds of pull, so it will it will work. So this one can tie to the tree. Need it to be about that long. And take the lighter and burn the ends. Tie the appropriate knot. Go on the other side. 
do the same thing. I'll have to come back. The tarp is set up. I can shelter under here tonight. When it rains, I expect it will rain. I've got stakes. I put big stakes in because of the sand. It's tied on in five places with the string. So this should be good. And now I'm going to start a fire. Got my fire ready to go. Did everything out of my bug out bag. Got water. I could go down and collect some water if I needed to. So I'll get me some sesame sticks here. This is really good non-cooked food. Any kind of non-cooked food you like. I've got more non-cooked food. I could get by for three days with what I've got in the bag. I want to get some water before it was over with. In a minute, I'll go down the river, go to the forest here, do some photography. It's spring, but Things are just beginning to bud. That's just this climate. And three or four weeks, everything will be blooming. But I'm going to see what all is going on right around here. There's some poison ivy over there. Maybe it's coming out. Time to start the fire. I got everything ready. The wind has died for now. I bet it'll come back. I set my tarp up so it would block the wind, unless of course it changes direction. And this fire is set up this is the Indian fire instead of the white man fire, so it's small, and I just sit here close to it. And that way I don't need a mountain of firewood. Put a little grass in the middle with some branches underneath and branches on, on top, and it's just going great. I wish all fires started this easy. And it is growing. Wow. I'm maybe sitting too close to it. I'll just keep it small. Wow. This stuff is dry. Can you hear the fire? Well, if it doesn't rain for a few days, and you're on a desert island, you get a fire like this. It is so dry here because there's nothing but sand. Got to move the log. Should be better. Well, the wind is shifting, so I'll just have to shift with the wind. Anyway, this is a beautiful little fire, and it's getting dark here. The fire is burning down a little bit. The wind keeps changing, and the smoke keeps chasing me, of course. What fires do. Keeping this small like the Indians did, instead of huge, like white people do. And 
and it's quite warm. If you were going to be out here with no shelter, then you could just stay warm with the fire. Unless it rains, of course. If it rains, then you're in trouble. And if it was really cold and rainy, you could build the fire close to the tarp, but you have to be really careful with that. Anyway, I could stay out here. After two days, I'd run out of water, but I could always go get more water. And after three days, I'd run out of food. Then I have to figure something about the food. There's the long, long-term survival thing, and then bug out bag, and then you just need more stuff. You need a little bit of everything in it. But hey, if you had three days and something went wrong, you could figure out what to do next. There's people all over the world right now wishing that they had a bug out bag that they could just get by with for three days. The fire's burning down a little bit. The wind keeps changing and the smoke keeps chasing me, of course. What fires do, keeping this small, like the Indians did instead of huge like white people do and it's quite warm if you were going to be out here with no shelter then you could just stay warm with the fire unless it rains of course if it rains then you're in trouble and if it was really cold and rainy you could build the fire close to the tarp but you have to be really careful with that anyway I could stay out here. After two days I'd run out of water, but I could always go get more water. And after three days I'd run out of food, then I have to figure something about the food. There's the long, long-term survival thing and then bug out bag and then you just need more stuff. You need a little bit of everything in it. But hey, if you had three days and something went wrong, you could figure out what to do next. There's people all over the world right now wishing that they had a bug out bag that they could just get by with for three days. Broke camp, uh, heading out. It was really nice here. The weather's beautiful. Uh, it's cloudy, it's cool, it's windy, but hey, it's outside and that's nice. It's, and it's been a good camp out. So, and I learned a lot. I always learn something every single time I go.